up, Winnie Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Berserk Chapter 376. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with um, YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my noisy little kitty over there, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... Man, it's been a minute since we've covered Berserk and Studio Gaga. I have high expectations for you, and especially in terms of the art. I, I, let's be real. I know Mori Koji going to deliver in terms of the writing. I have, I'm not worried about that. Studio Gaga, it's you that, that I'm concerned about. <laughs> um, but I will say this, to be fair, in terms of the art. Because I've had people give me shit about it in my comment section. Look, I know we're never going to get um, Kentaro uh, Miura style. I know we're never going to get it again. And it sucks. It really, really sucks. And may he rest in peace. But all I'm asking for is, like, the essence of his art, which is beautiful line work and beautiful detailing and shading um, like a mofo and, and fluidity. That's, that's all I want. That's all I want. Like, what we see in series like Dan to Dan, for example. That's the best example I could think of off the top of my head. If we just got that, I would be very, very happy. But something that I will say here, like what we're seeing in this color spread, um, if and I'm glad that uh, Studio Gaga is leaning a lot more into, like, water and oil um, painting kind of art style, is because you don't have to use as much line work or shading and when you use that kind of art style. Um, it's very beneficial for them and they can get away with it and actually do a lot of really cool stuff with it And I hope we, we get more of this. I really hope Studio Gok is gonna do more of this. But speaking of let's get into um, This color uh, spread here So this is the third in the new um, in the new chapter or the new arc and I gotta say with cushion looks beautiful oh my god, it looks beautiful and um where we see like uh, uh, guts from the back and him looking at cushion got no complaints it looks beautiful but where i have a problem is is puck looks stiff the body positioning is just way too stiff i can't i can't with it guts and this has been a problem with guts um that i've noticed with um uh, with studio gaga is there's just not enough hair on his head and, um, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but, like, the face is just off. It's always been off with Studio Gaga in terms of the face. But I will say this, though. He looks a lot better. It's baby steps, yes. But, yeah, I swear, it's baby steps with Studio Gaga, but it looks a lot better. But I'm really excited to get into this, so. Um, because, yes, we're gonna see what's going on up in his soul because remember he was surrendering to the um the berserker armor but anyways what awaits in the cushion lands and this chapter is titled seas quivering and uh surface and calamitous is war is shadow oh so now as i said we are inside of guts of soul and god as i said leaning into like a water oil base painting kind of art style this works. It is so beautiful. I'm glad you're going this route, Studio Gaga. It is gorgeous. What? I'm being swept away. God, this looks so good. Please keep doing this. Please. Again, my only issue is the lack of hair on Guts' head. That's my only problem with this right now. Ooh. Shriek? Shriek? Oh my god. She made it inside. Oh. oh! What was that? Ooh. Salat. Oh, so she- so... He's not completely taken over yet. He was on the verge of being taken over. 
Shariq saved him in the nick of time. Salat, what are you doing? Um, what's this about, uh, what's this about Guts being locked up? You must release him from, uh, the dungeon at once. Grow weary of this Ricket. Um, ooh, yes, we got, we got Ricket and Salat here now. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to, I'm trying, I'm going to try not to be so critical of, oh, I got to try, I got to try. But yeah, I'm, it's still stiff. It's stiffer than a mofo, but it, it's, uh, it, it is it's way better than it was when we started, um, in the, po started the post Mira um, era. There we go. I grow, uh, weary of this ricket. Um. The Black Swordsman Guts was his name? Um, we know him well and how dangerous he is, so leaving him to his own devices is out of the question. It's not just for our safety, but his own. He's not wrong! He's not wrong! Like, if you left, especially in his current mental state, no way it's a good, a good idea to leave him to his own devices. You understand, yes? Ooh. Taiba. Young Master Salat, Ricket, come with me. I, I, okay, I have to look at the, I gotta look at a panel from Miura's art to compare this, because it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. Okay, so looking at Daiba, a panel of uh, Daiba, the thing is, and it, this is proof of what I've um, been having issues with with, uh, um, with Studio Gaga, is that when you look at Daiba, uh, Miura's, uh, version of Daiba is that you see like wrinkles upon wrinkles upon wrinkles and there's so much like line work and detailing and shading and um, the hair there's like a lot more line work in, there's way more way more facial hair the beard there's way way more in terms of the facial hair and like the um, his uh, locks yeah his locks have a little bit more shading as well it doesn't look so it doesn't look so stiff. That's the right wording. It doesn't look so stiff. It doesn't look like hair helmet. That's what I feel like a hair helmet realness would be the right. Yeah, hair helmet realness would be the right wording for it. That's the main issue I'm having with um, with this hair. The wrinkles, it just looks like it doesn't look like it doesn't look like wrinkles, if that makes any sense. And the the way to get around it is shading. The lack of shading is really hurting this. Studio Gaga, you need... The shader is your friend, Studio Gaga. You need to embrace the shader. Again, as I said at the start of this video, I'm not asking them to, like, perfectly replicate Mira's art. I am not. Just embrace the... Embrace the shader! Like... Seriously, just a little shading goes a long way, man. A little, just a little bit more line work goes a long, long way. Seriously, just give me that and it will just, just do a little bit of that and it'll just be, it would, it'll take this to the next level. It will not perfectly, it won't perfectly replicate me or his art. No, it won't, but it will bring, it will bring it closer for one thing, but it would also make it less stiff. God. It's really fr I'm sorry. It, it just frustrates me. It's not just, and I'm going to be clear with you. I'm not picking on Berserk, or I'm not picking on Studio Gaga. I'm not, um, because there's other series that I do cover that have shading issues, and it really irritates the hell out of me. Um, but Jesus Christ, it just frustrates me so much. I'm I'm so spoiled by series like Made in Abyss and Day of the Dead. Okay, I really am. And, um, Murata spoils me with One Punch Man. I'm, I'm very spoiled. I'm very spoiled by manga art. Okay, here we go. Um, there's Shariq. Now we're back to Shariq. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, what are we gonna do? She's completely out of it. The sun rose ages ago, but she's not waking up. It's weird. Um, she slipped into the deepest layers. Uh, she's never, she never bungles it like this. Um, uh, stupid Shariq. Even, uh, the scroll rusted off her guts. Um, astonishing, uh, this young, uh, thing capable of releasing her ethereal body. Um, the, uh, Kishitaria of, um, uh, Dura, um, Durga aside, the, uh, martial potential of these people, should I, um, should I be able to command them? Oh, sorry, I fucked this up. The Kishita, um, 
Kashtaria of Daraga aside, the martial potential of these people, should I be able to command them? Ooh, if you... Dude, I wonder if he's thinking if she, he had, um, if he could command them, then, um, or get control of Shriek, then, uh, he could take down Griffith. Or maybe even not just Griffith, like, take control of the world. But I think, I got, I'm thinking more so, like, Daiba is focusing on taking down Griffith more than anything else. Especially based on what we've seen previously. Or, like, at least up until this point, anyway. Ooh. Let me, I have to mention this too, because it'll bug me if I don't. I don't know if it's just me, and it's kind of been bugging me for a minute. I think Salat looks a little too handsome in the face. It's been bugging me for a minute. But also the muscular, it's been... This has just been the story of Studio Gaga, where the musculature and the anatomical art is... And I know it's partially because of um, the scan that I have. I know it's partially because the scan's too light. Um, but I know it does, it, the shading, it, the lack of shading is still, whether it's too light or not, the, the lack of shading is still there. That is a problem. And there still needs to be more line work in the musculature. But God, it's just, oh, it just bugs me. It just, I'm just like this. It just looks so stiff, and he just too looks too handsome in the face. It bugs me. But anyways, let, let's keep going here. That side. Pardon me. We were uh, being led to the palace when, um, uh, peace. We were a, a bit rough uh, on you before, but I have something to discuss. I understand that you were um, that you set up from some fairy island far from here. That it dissolved um, like foam on the sea over the course of a, but a single night. Um, fleeting spume, a fairy tale item. Uh, uh, wait, fleeting spume, a fairy tale. Yeah, young master, we uh, too know what it's like to lose a home, to roam without aim. Forgive me. So yeah, yeah, they do. Out of, they totally can understand. Oh, they could. And also remember, they do have a common common enemy because Griffith fucked them over too. Anyways, so this is the girl who can reign in the beast. As uh, Ganeshka's general, I faced but one man equal to me in battle. It surprised me at the time, um, as I had the whole uh, whole host of Daka and uh, Pishaka um, water under the bridge. Now, uh, call it a draw, <laughs> and they fought each other. Yeah, I forgot. There's that, too. Diva, uh, Diva and Guts? Yeah. Yeah. Young Master, these people are all of great interest to me. I'm well versed in the dark uh, dark arts. Um, what say you? Shall I take them under my wing? Will you give them um, over to me? Do as you uh, do as you like. Um, under his wing? What? Dude. Diva wants to use them against Griffith. They have beef. They do. Yeah, there's the shit with Guts, for sure, because Guts whooped, their, whooped his ass, yeah, but now they have a bigger goal. They have beef with Griffith. They want to take Griffith down. Yeah, they I got it mixed up for a second, but yeah. Yeah, they have their common enemy, which is Griffith. Griffith, like, screwed them over and caused them to lose their, you know, the cushion to lose their home, for the most part. And then you have the whole thing, and then now, um, the whole thing with the Fae, with the Elf, um, with the Elf Island, too. So, yeah, he, you have both of that. You have Griffith fucking everyone over. Under his wing? What will, yeah, let them, let them work together to destroy Griffith and take down the demons. Um, what will become of us now? Hold on now, or please wait. Um, what, if you have business with us, send an envoy. I'm grateful that you've taken us weary travelers and, and guaranteed our safety, but what do you mean by giving us over to him? It seems you still don't understand. On stormy seas, your, shri your ship drifted into cushioned waters and your travels came to an end. You are now refugees. Custom dictates that you will serve in our military, that is all. Indeed, young master, um, uh, now you may roll your eyes all you like. But over many moons does that uh, the twisting of reason uh, set the world teetering on the brink. We fated to be the sport of demons find ourselves gathered in this place. 
What would you call it if not a uh, good fortune, young master? These people should get to hear us out if only by virtue of who they are. Mm, very well. Come along, let's go. Troopy, um, hey, hey, what's gonna happen, do you think, uh, what's gonna happen, do you think? Pfft, like I know. Oh, you're no fun. Shut up. Um, sorry, may I? Um, I knew it was you, Puck. I'm glad- Yes! We have another at Puck! We did it! Um, it's me, Rickard. I haven't seen you since, uh, Master Godot's cave. Um, oh, you know him? Sorry, he's just like this. Uh, I see. So, you, do you seriously not remember? There's something I'd like to ask, if, uh, that's alright. Um, why don't I see Casca anywhere? Didn't she set off, um, uh, for your home on Elf Island together with you and Guts? Speaking of Guts, what is... No, never mind. It has to be Griffith. Ugh, but how? Why? Considering the circumstances, uh, I'll give you the unvarnished truth. War? Um, sorry, we cushion our recruiting troops and stockpiling arms. We're going to war. War? Yes, and I suspect you know with whom. The Falcon of Light and Falconia. Why does this have to be so stiff? Oh! Like... The art style here for um, the spread on uh, page 17 is so, uh, that transition is so nice. It's, it like is, it's almost there to where I want, where I want it, where I can picture it working. But my God, Griffith looks so stiff. Oh my God, I hate it so much. Oh, it's so close, like, uh, if Griffith, like, if it was, if Griffith was, like, moving a little bit more, like, if you had him, like, look, like, flowing majestically, like, with his arms back and, like, like, like this, or, like, him looking back like this with his neck, like that, or just, like, up, like, it just would look so much better, but holy shit, he looks so stiff, I just, oh, I hate it so much, oh, Studio Gaga, why? Why'd you do that? And then, like, if you had him moving and, like, had his back arch, you could have had the back of, you know, like, the, um, of what would look like his, the aura, like, wings, or the wing-like aura. You would have had it flowing, and it would have looked so nice. Oh, this sucks. I'm so pissed. I'm so disappointed. And also, the helmet looks like shit. Oh. I hate how this helmet looks. I could have had it look really badass too. I really hate how Griffith's helmet looks. I fucking hate it so much. The Falcon has the uh, the power to change the world down to its fundamental principles, and yet you could have had this panel look so sick too. Oh. I am spoiled by Matsui for the Elusive Samurai, because I'm just picturing how he, how Matsui could have made this look even sicker. Oh my god. I just can't help but think of Takuji, like, of how he does the demonic art for Takuji. Oh, oh Studio Gaga, you're killing me here. He leads the, um, the band of the Falcons, uh, suppressing the demons that run rampant, um, outside the capital's walls, ever expanding the borders of his city. Um, now we receive reports of the Falcon's vanguard forces spotted at the Kushin Empire's western borders. Do you know what that means? He fears, um, that which lies beyond his reason, beyond the demonic. That is why Elf Island was wipe wiped out. We are ne we are next and there is not a moment to lose. I really wish, uh, again, this is so fucking stiff. I, Salat looks so stiff here. I wish the... Uh, okay, here's the thing. Because you're telling me here. It says here, he fears that which lies beyond his reason, uh, beyond his reason, beyond the demonic. And that is why Elf Island was wiped out. Like, because, uh, as I said, on page 17, you... Uh, Griffith is Falcon of Light. You had, like, this beautiful, or what could have been this beautiful transition where... Um, Griffith looked like he looked where he looked majestic. I'm still a down by that. Ugh.
Um, and then here, you could have had the opposite here for, um, for Salat, where the background looked a lot more demonic. Like, you had, like, a hellfire um, in the background. Um, and, like, had uh, him look even more... You would have him... Uh, would he say the positioning of his body is okay? Maybe. Like, I really wish you would have done something a little bit more in terms of the metaphorical art. You could have done, like, um, like a water slash oil um, uh, based painting kind of art style. Like, the best... Or I should say the... Um, the art style that comes to mind off the top of my head, there's a couple. There's uh, Chojin X of uh, what Ashita Sui does in terms of like his horror art. Like I would have liked to seen that here, or um, what I say Kenyon in this situation, what Daramion does. Mm, no, I think I think Chojin X would be the most appropriate. If you would have given me something like what Ashita Sui has been doing with Chojin X, oh my god, that would have been so amazing. Oh my god, that would have worked here. Oh my god, I wish we would have. Oh, I'm just picturing it in my head right now. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so sad that we did not get this here. There was some there is some waste of potential. Oh my god, there was some waste of potential here. We moved to attack the Falcon of Light. Okay, so to be continued next chapter, but oh god. I'm so I'm so let down by this art. This art really makes me sad. This art really makes me sad. Oh my god, I'm so, so sad. Like, here's the thing. As I said, I I'm spoiled, okay? Like, if... If we would have had something here, okay? Because I know Children X could get a little bit more more detailed. If you would give me something like, um... More so, like, Made in Abyss. Because Made in Abyss is more abstract and it uses... It's more like, uh water oil based painting kind of art style if, if studio gaga went more in that direction with its arts with uh berserk's art style i wouldn't be so mad at this i feel like it i honestly feel like studio gaga does not know what it wants to do with its arts with um berserk's art style i really think they don't know i don't know why they're so like I don't know why they're still so hesitant. It's driving me fucking nuts. Why are you so hesitant? Why are you so... S why? Why? I just don't get it. The writing I'm not having any issues with. I'm not. This does fit like... um, uh, Koji said that... I remember what Koji said too. Koji said that this was um, straight from... Uh, Kintaro Miura's mind, like, he spent, he, that was his best friend. He knows. He knows Kintaro Miura best. He said that, um, Miura, if anything happened to him, that he would entrust the story with him. So I'm not, like, that's why I'm like, I am not worried about the writing. The writing feels correct. It does. I'm not having any issues with it. But this art, man, I just, I, mean, I don't understand like, I understand that they want to, like, have Studio Gaga, um, work on this because, of, uh, as a sentimental thing. I understand that. But, man, at this point, Studio Gaga, you need to bring someone in. This is getting ridiculous. It's been almost, uh, um, three years now. This is getting ridiculous. I know I'm going to get shit in my comment section, but this is getting ridiculous. I just am not getting, I'm just not getting it. I'm not getting what I would picture Miura's art to be. And it's really frustrating me. God. I know it's bad that I'm getting emotional. Dude, I cried when Miura died, by the way. So that's why I'm like, I think that's another reason why I'm getting frustrated. This manga really is important to me. I just, I think they need to get, they need some, Koji, you need to, something needs to happen here. This is not working. This isn't working. In terms of the art, this is not working. You could say that they're doing their best all you want, but this is not working. I know it's baby steps with them, but this is getting ridiculous. Like, 
there's a difference between like say Togen Anki for example where it's baby steps and like with Togen Anki Urushibara actually ma it's by himself he's doing this by himself shit like with uh Kagurabachi Kagurabachi um got uh Hokuzan Yokozan oh my god Hokusano got an assistant and the art got the art is still not the best no no but I can't believe I'm comparing this shit to Kagurabachi but fuck I have to but it's starting it's starting to improve it made a huge difference when they got as soon as he got an assistant hell look at you know what I'm gonna compare this to the best thing I got I could, best thing to do is compare this to Tagashi once Tagashi got a fucking got more assistance but it was a lot easier and Hunter Hunter got there was more progress on Hunter Hunter like just something's got to change here this is getting ridiculous I can't with this shit no more. Mochi, uh, oh my god. Koji, I can't with this shit no more. This is something got to change here at Studio Gaga. You guys need to bring someone else in. You can, I'm not saying you can, to not get rid of the assistant, or get rid of the um, assistants there, like Miro's original assistants. I'm not saying to get rid of them. No, they could still work on it, because I think it'd be beneficial for them to learn from another artist. I think that would be a great thing to have. But you, there needs to be another artist here. They need to have someone else here. I know, I know Koji can't do it because he's, I think he's working on another series. So I understand he, he can't do it. I wish he could. Um, but you need someone that specializes more in, um, in, real, uh, in realism to work on this because this this is just not working it, this is not i just can't with i can't or not realism i'm sorry more with abstract to um to work on this but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think do you guys think that studio gaga needs to bring someone else in i i really do i think they need to bring someone else in to help I do, because I think, because they're just, they seem, I just, the art is telling me that they are very hesitant. They're still hesitant, and they, it can't be this way. I feel like they need, I feel like they need to bring a horror artist on here. That's what they need. They need to bring a horror artist, like someone that, like a Junji Ito style artist. I think when they do that, this manga will make a huge improvement. The art will be like night and day once they bring like um, a experienced horror artist. I really do. Again, I know they have experience and whatnot. I, I understand that. But I feel like the pressure of trying to live up to Miura's legacy is really hurting, is really hurting them. I, I, that's what, that's what it seems like to me. That's what the art is telling me. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. The writing, I'm, re I'm really excited to see what we're going to be getting from, uh, from this war. I'm so stoked. I'm kind of like, I don't know how I feel about Guts being saved like this. I feel I really kind of wanted to see a little bit more um, combat between uh, Shariq and, um, and the Berserker armor. I was hoping we'd see a little bit more combat between them. But other than that, I'm really down with what we're getting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Berserk content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.